I think we're streaming. I believe we are. There we are. Hey, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so we are coming to you live from Mexico. Yes. And, um, yeah, this is our first live stream. And it was quite a journey. Yeah, it's been a journey <laughs> trying to set up the encoder and get it all going. Sorry for moving around. We're using our laptop here. Um, I'm going to see how to set up. Let's see. I need to change the video resolution. The current resolution is 1120 by 700, which is not supported. I don't know how to change that. All right. We're going to try to figure this out. We're trying to figure this out, folks. So Give me your phone so I can check. Oh, we're going to check on our phone how we're doing here. That might help. Perhaps. We're going to see. Um, but maybe I need to go to the control room. Let's see if that helps. I don't know. No. No, that's not what we wanted to do. Mm. Yeah, we're still here. Hey, Ricky, I see you. <laughs> Hola. Hi, um, Ricky. <laughs> and hey, Max and out 808. Good to see you. If you guys want to ask us any questions or whatever, feel free. Um, this is our first live stream, and we're coming to you from Mexico. Uh, we're at the Grand uh, Residences here in Puerto Morales, Mexico. We arrived earlier today. Um, so, hi, Tom. Sorry. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, tuning in. <laughs> I wonder, if, are you guys like really, like you can see us moving and talking and all that because- Yeah, are you able I, to see? Because I just check on the phone and I don't see anything. So I, we're not sure. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to figure this out. So do me a favor, either Ricky or Tom, give us a comment in the chat and if let us know if you can or actually can see us. us or hear us oh yep okay tom, tom says yes okay great because we're trying to look at it on our phone too and it's not working <laughs> <laughs> for us it's not working ricky says he liked our merman tales <laughs> 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 thanks appreciate it um hi james good to see you Welcome to our first live chat coming to you from Mexico. Um, I wonder if they, it's a little delayed and they would, they see it delayed too, because like, look, yeah, there's a couple of seconds. Between. It's like a five second delay. Okay. Um, in case we do something inappropriate. Gotcha. <laughs> so Tom's asking us how long we're here. Uh, we arrived today. Today's Saturday. We're going to be here until next Saturday. Um, we checked in and uh, the resort we're staying at, if you're familiar with the Yucatan Peninsula, Cancun is about 25, 30 minutes north of us and Playa del Carmen is about 25, 30 minutes south of us. So we're right in between both. Uh, and we're joining my sister and uh, brother-in-law and my two nieces and their husbands. They're all in Cancun. So we're going to be doing lots of adventures with them. Obviously, we'll be filming a lot of content for the channel this week. So we're excited about that. Sorry, I'm, I've got the laptop on my lap. <laughs> so that wasn't an earthquake. <laughs> so um, thanks, Tom. I appreciate that. So um, yeah, let us know what, what can we, you know, all four of you. We got a huge crowd here. <laughs> But we're kind of excited. This is our first time uh, doing a live chat. So um, what else can we tell you? This resort that we're staying at is pretty cool. This is the first time we've ever been to an all-inclusive resort. Uh, and this is a little fancy, to be honest. We just came from dinner uh, where we had an amazing meal. We had um, There's a traditional dish that they make here in Mexico uh, in honor of their independence. Yeah. And it's called um, Chiles in Nugara. Did I say it correctly? Chiles in Nugara, see. Yeah. And uh, we had that for dinner uh, along with... Uh, I feel like it's weird. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you feel weird? Here, let me move the... Let me do this and see if that's better. 
Can you see us better that way? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I think so. A little better. The lighting is a little odd in here. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I can still see the chat window over there. James says, text me. Well, I don't know how I can do that. Uh, I guess, oh, I guess we can say hi in here. There. Did you get it? Did that work, James? Ricky says, post photos of the food, please, when you can. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, let me see. Uh, maybe I can show you on our phone because we did take photos of the food. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, uh, we will be posting some stuff there. But let me show you. This is the chilies in Nugara. Let's see if you guys can see this. Let me know. We got to wait here for a few seconds. And I think that's <laughs> this reminds me of AOL chat. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I remember those old days of AOL chat. That's a long time ago. Um, and I also remember that horrific sound of the dial up. Remember that? Messy. And you'd have to be. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, Ricky says it's bright. I don't yeah. know if he meant the phone is bright or no, the, 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 phone, the, the the image was, yeah, like, was bad. Probably. It was too bright. It was probably too bright to see it on but there. But that's, that's fine. We will post those yeah. in Instagram. We'll do that. Um, let's see. James says, keep my number. Okay, we'll keep your number, James. Uh, Tom says he's typing with one hand. <laughs> I don't want to know what your other hand's doing, Tom, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so what else can we say about being here? Um, we've got a few things that we're going to do. There is a video on the channel from last year. No, it's not last year. It's the year in May. No, no, no. Previously, when we went to Isla Islam Mujeres. Oh, okay. yeah. So last year, we went to a place called Isla Mujeres, which is an island off the coast of Cancun. And we did a pretty cool... That's actually one of the most popular videos on our channel, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Uh, but we're going back there on Monday. We're taking my family. And then, uh, where are we going on Tuesday? Coba. And what is Coba? The minor ruins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they might want to know. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going to uh, Coba uh, and maybe going into a cenote. Um, Ricky says, have we both reduced weight? Just an observation. Well, thanks, Ricky. I appreciate that. As a matter of fact... Um, since we started the YouTube channel together a year ago, I have lost roughly, what is it, like 40, somewhere around 40, 40 something pounds, roughly. No, I always, if you have a really, constant. He's very consistent with his weight, but Juan Carlos, he runs, what do you do, 5 to 10K a day? Not, Not every day, day like, but yeah. Yeah. Well, tell times them what you do for your exercise. Yeah, like a lot. I run once or twice a week, 10 kilometers, which is like around like six miles. Mm -hmm. And then I do yoga and I go to CrossFit with my sister because she loves it. I, I don't love it, but I go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but I, yeah, I, I'm very consistent with my, with my weight all, all the time. Yeah. In between 58, um, Kilograms in 62, depending. Yeah. Yeah, he's really, really dedicated. He's been really instrumental in helping me uh, in keeping myself healthy and, and all of that. Let's see, there's a couple more questions. Uh, hey, Devo lover. Hey, back to you. Um, thanks for the congratulations. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Say, are you planning on doing a race, JC? I want to know if you're a what a race, like a um, um, marathon or. Oh no, no, I so like I go to like a ten k run that they do sometimes in in, in by by where I live, mm -hmm. but I'm not competitive, so I don't. I mean, I go just because I want to go, not because I I want to compete or anything. Um, mostly, if it's for a cause, like. If it's if it's a run that you do for to help 
raise money for you know children or something then yeah. i will do it but like a half marathon or a marathon i know I, I don't have the discipline to that my <laughs> sister did that a couple of years ago and she had to train for months and months and months and run like pretty much every day and i was like yeah no yeah yeah his <laughs> sister she did the the chicago, marathon. chicago yeah. yeah i can run for like an hour that six miles and that's it after an hour i'm done i'm like yeah i, I just want to stop <laughs> i'm bored so yeah I, I run because i know it's it's good for you but that that's about it yeah and he does him and his sister they've been working for a number of years uh helping with a charity that helps children in costa rica and they do that charity run a couple times a year um and then i typically go as a photographer um since i'm not running uh I don't necessarily, I don't have good knees for it in my lower back, unfortunately, but I do photography for the event and take pictures of all the runners when they're coming across the finish line. So that way we're both participating in the charity event, which is a great organization that helps underprivileged children in Costa Rica. So we enjoy that. Um, let's see. You do yoga. Ricky says about yoga, he's thinking about trying yoga. Yeah, everybody can try yoga. Yeah. If you have a body. You have a yoga body. <laughs> <laughs> Even I've done it. We went to a couple of yoga classes together. So, um, yeah, uh, everybody yeah. can do it. I mean, a lot of people says that it's for flexible people or just for young people or whatever. No, everybody can do yoga. Yeah. I mean, again, if you have a body, you have a yoga body. <laughs> everybody has a yoga body. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's there's levels and everything for everyone. And, and there are a lot of uh, variations, like if there's certain exercises this way, and then you can do it a different, in a slightly different way. So it's easier for you. It's not, you know, it's not all about being like a, <laughs> like a pretzel or anything. <laughs> Although he can be like a pretzel, you should see. <laughs> like even today, he wanted me to take a picture. I'll, maybe we'll post, it was a quick little video we did on the beach where he was doing this handstand thing. Quite impressive, <laughs> actually. Um, let's see, let's an exit interview. Uh Oh, so Tom, you got to do an exit interview and pack for a flight. Well, safe travels to you. We really appreciate you tuning in. Safe travels. Um, yeah, this has been awesome. Actually. I really appreciate all of you watching out there. Um, so, and it's nice to get the chance to chat with all of you. Um, uh, oops, <laughs> he hit send too soon. He said, Tom, so. um, if we did us, uh, quick tour here in the room when we got here uh this this morning yeah and it's in instagram so if you want to like look around uh how it is uh, just check our instagram channel and sorry our instagram account and hit the uh, the story the story which yeah. is isn't it's a it's not a story it's a I think it says live or something. Yeah, it might. Well, it's up there on the icon, like a little round. Anyway, yeah. but yeah, we did a quick run through of this entire villa. But of course, we're going to also do a formal video for YouTube, showing you around the the villa, which yeah. is beautiful, and then the uh, the rest of the uh, the resort. The resort. Yeah, we're pretty lucky because um, the weather today was beautiful. Yeah, not too hot. It was just great, and then. The, the ocean is very is very um, clean, yeah. no seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he says that because we've been coming to Mexico. I've been coming here for, gosh, close to 20 years now on and off. I'm having a timeshare down here. And uh, the last few years, there's been a huge problem in the Caribbean Ocean uh, with what's called sargasm seaweed. And it's washing up on the shores all along the Yucatan Peninsula here in Mexico and the same in Florida where we live in Fort Lauderdale as well as Miami the beaches there have been covered in it um, and it's an unfortunate thing that's happening and there's been some environmentalists that indicate that it's probably being caused from a lot of the runoff of the chemicals from the Amazon uh, from the deforestation um, and the farming that's going on there as well as all of the farming that's happening up and around Florida and the Everglades so all of those chemicals going out into the ocean and then the warmer waters Unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of seaweed, but we're really lucky this week. I guess maybe the recent storms that have gone through have sort of washed it away, uh, but we have beautiful, beautiful beaches. Um, so yeah, Ricky, that's a lot to do with, as, as I was saying, according to the scientists, it, it has a lot to do with climate change as well as human factors with regard to um, apparently a lot of the uh, chemicals that are used for 
the farming are uh, feeding feeding the algae, which is again feeding this particular seaweed, which is called sargasm. So, and it's been a big big problem here in the Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Riviera area. But we're lucky. The beaches look like they're clean. In this resort that we're at, it's interesting too. We checked in here today and we it's sort of like, um, have you ever seen the movie? <laughs> it sort of reminded me of um, uh, The Shining, you know, where the family goes to the, to the, 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 um, the big resort and there's nobody there except for, well, those were ghosts. But Anyway, this resort just came off of a week of maintenance, so they were completely closed last week, and uh, today's our first day back open, so there's only like a, a few dozen people staying at the entire place right now. So we literally had the entire pool. The across. entire pool. There was one other couple out there today. It was like... All the chairs around every, the pool, yeah, we all could... the chairs <laughs> in front of the, of the beach, everything was open. Like We could just... See wherever we went. Right. Yeah, it was amazing. So anyway, so let's see. We got two of you left here. We lost a few people. <laughs> I guess we're boring. <laughs> you know, we um, back in 2000, like 10, 9, 10, 11, whatever, uh, um, there was a, a service that it, I don't remember the name of the service, but it's something similar to this. And then <laughs> we kind of created a channel called Ticos in New Albany, because uh -huh. is where we were. And we were just sitting, watching TV or whatever, and streaming. And we, sometimes we had like 18 people or whatever just watching <laughs> us watching TV. Oh, you were doing that like on YouTube or whatever back it in was, the day? Yeah, it was something too, but it was similar. Uh, let's see, what's Ricky say? Ricky said he noticed uh, that we, that, yeah, you did notice that we had the beach to ourselves. Very beautiful and peaceful, totally today. And that was. And I said to him, because we brought our little headphones down to the pool with us, which we usually do when we're at a resort, uh, because usually there's a lot of people and a lot of noise. And uh, he said, are you not going to put your headphones? And I said, no, because <laughs> I was able to just listen to the waves of the ocean. And there was not, there wasn't like screaming children or lots of people running around. Not that screaming children are bad, but you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, it was quite beautiful. So it certainly fits with our mantra today that... Today's been a very happy day, mm -hmm. for sure, which is great. Um, yeah, not more. Okay, thanks, Ricky. I appreciate that. <laughs> Going to the office. Where, Ricky? Where are you? Um, I'm just curious where you're located, because it's in a, San Francisco. I think you're you're, you're in California, I'm assuming. So if you're going to the office, wow, you're working late on a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> We will always be happy, Ricky, and thank you again for all of your wonderful comments on uh, Napa Valley. How beautiful is it up there? Hopefully you're stomping on some grapes too tonight, mm -hmm. <laughs> or at least drinking some wine. Um, but anyway, we appreciate you very much for watching and, and always taking the time to comment on the videos. Thanks a lot. So uh, peace out to you. And um, But anyway, yeah, this is our, our first live stream. We did it. We did it. Yeah, it was a little challenging trying to figure out this encoding software and I don't know. Yeah. I guess once we get to a thousand subscribers, we'll be able to do a live stream on our cell phones and be able to be a little more mobile, uh, but we're not we're not quite there yet. We're just a little over 700 people, which is great. 700 of the best people. So keep helping us <laughs> to grow the channel. Yeah, yeah. Keep sharing, <laughs> keep sharing with your friends. Just, yeah, share, share the videos in the channel with friends. Thanks, Ricky. Sending love back out to you as well. Big love. Love. Um, yeah, this is fun. Mm -hmm. I like it. Anybody have another question? Send us a question. What do you want to know? What can we tell yeah, you? Yeah, we will. What we can do is just keep the streaming going because mm -hmm. we just will we'll be going. <laughs> and if we see any anyone else connecting and sending us questions, yeah. we will reply. Otherwise, I'm going to bring this. Just streaming. <laughs> Maybe I can bring this closer. There. Let's see. Can you still see us okay? Perhaps. We should look at this. They gave us this book in the room too that's... Uh, there's a place here in Mexico. I'll kind of hold it up, see if you can see it. Escaret. Called Escaret. And Escaret is actually a Mayan word. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful ecological park. And we've been there a couple times. 
they have one of the most amazing aviaries that I've ever seen. It's like multiple levels and hundreds, if not thousands of birds flying everywhere and bridges and waterfalls. And... Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, this is cool. This is like all kinds of, it's not just about Eshkaret, this book. It's, it's a whole bunch of hola. <laughs> hola. And it's in Spanish and English. Viva Mexico. It says, uh, let's see, what does it say? Hey, just start watching your videos. As for a question, what have you guys been up to? Help me catch up a little bit. Okay. Uh, MJ Studios 97. Great question. Um, so if you just tuned in, uh, we are currently in a place called Puerto Morales, Mexico. Uh, and we're staying at a resort called the Grand Residences. And the location of this area is basically in between Cancun, Mexico and Playa del Carmen, Cozumel, which is off the coast. Um, so we're about kind of 25 minutes in between both of those both yeah. ways, you could say. Um, so catching you up, we, we just got back a few weeks ago. We were on a cruise uh, with Vakaya, and you can see all of our videos on the channel of our experience on a seven-day cruise um, that we did with them. We are here in Mexico for a week, uh, staying at this resort, and then we're also visiting with, I've got uh, my sister and my nieces and their husbands and my brother-in-law are all staying at a, another resort up in Cancun. And so we're going to be doing a lot of activities with them throughout this week, as well as some stuff that we're doing on our own. Uh, so we're here for a week. And then when we get back to Florida, we're going up to Disney, which we're super excited about. Um, we're going to go to see Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. <laughs> we I are. love it. <laughs> yeah, it's one of our favorite events every year. Is Mickey and, then, um, and then Halloween Horror Nights, Halloween Horror Nights at yeah. Universal Studios. Um, so those are our fun things that we're doing. That's kind of, hopefully that answered your question, um, MJ Studios 97. Good question. If you have anything else you're curious about, feel free to ask. Uh, we'll share what we can. <laughs> we'll let you know. Uh, but... In general, we've been really having a good time over the last, you know, actually, we started a little over a year ago posting videos to YouTube, mainly because of us being back and forth between Costa Rica and the United States and his family being in Costa Rica and my family being spread out uh, in the U.S. and friends all over that we wanted to kind of share with our friends and family things that we were doing. And that's why we really started doing the videos. And then we started realizing people were interested a little bit more and then we started doing them regularly because we enjoy it it's been fun for us yeah. it's sort of like a living diary for he and i to uh to share and then hopefully we're helping inspire and enlighten a little bit because of our mantra um with happiness as a lifestyle and um why don't you tell them you came up with the idea yeah i did you did we were talking about you know, coming up with a tagline or something. Yeah, the then... thing is that he, in in the, the first videos when I was not that active, because right. at the very beginning I didn't even want to be at all in any video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was shy, very camera shy. And then um, all the time he, he would say, uh, peace out everyone. That's what you yeah, would say. Yeah, I used then, to always say that. Yeah. And then he, he asked me, I want... I want to come up with uh, something different to say besides peace out everyone. So do you have any ideas? And then I said, um, okay, let me think about it. Mm -hmm. And then like two minutes later, he asked again. I was like, I said, let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was being very pushy. <laughs> and then, yeah, a couple of days later, I um, came up with this idea of happiness is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And he liked it. So ever, ever since, um, that's what we've been using as our mantra. Yeah. Yeah, and we've really adopted it as part of our daily existence too. You know, we're not on YouTube every day, but the main thing for he and I is that each day when we get up in the morning, we have a choice, all of us have a choice of how we're going to spend that day. And if you sort of take it day by day like we do um, and focus on those things that make you happy, uh, and they can be little things for, you know, obviously we're very blessed and we get to travel and do some exciting things, but 
the one thing that makes us most happy is when we're together in the morning and we get up and we make breakfast and you know it can be a little thing like him making the bed which I hate doing and <laughs> so he'll make the bed or I'll do the dishes in the morning and you know those little tiny little things all add up to what we call the happiness bucket if you will <laughs> yeah because you cannot you cannot wake up in the morning and say I'll be happy at 3 p.m. when I get off of work right, right. and I and I'm doing I don't know I'm in a party or whatever no you can be happy like every day long you know yeah absolutely. and but I mean we have to we have to be balanced and we have to enjoy everything in, even the sadness because and I was that's something that I was reading today uh, that you cannot know happiness if you don't know sadness that's absolutely right? true yeah. and sadness has its own things that you have to embrace and something that actually was very I, I love that uh, that I was reading it says the tears go go deeper than any laughter can go mm -hmm. meaning you know sadness gives you a complete different feel than the happiness does but you cannot know one or the other if you're if you haven't te you know if, if you, you haven't, haven't felt felt both that's very true so yeah just embrace every minute of your day and and make the decision to you know uh with very little things try to be happy All right so there you go yeah no that's it's so true and you know by no means is every single day filled with 1000 percent um happy moments but like juan carlos said if those little things that do and those little bumps in the road that we're all faced with every single day. Um, and if you kind of embrace those and then look to what, how can we overcome that? Uh, then ultimately for us, then those happy moments outweigh those sad moments and allow mm -hmm. us to really just yeah. be in the moment, if you will. Here's an example. I used to get really upset when when I had to drive from my office to my house because it it would take me like two hours in traffic, and then one one day I said, okay, it's taking me two hours, no matter if I'm if I'm you know all <laughs> pissed or if I'm happy, it's taking me the same, the same amount of time. Yeah. So what do I do? You know, just getting angry because of this. I can just. Use this time and listen to music that I like, listen to our radio station that I like. Or at that time, I started to um, buy Audible books. Yeah. And then I would, you know, put a, an Audible book and listen to that book. And that would be a good thing to do with that time that I was, I had to do anyway. You know, I had to drive. There was no, <laughs> no other option. So I better spend that time doing something that I like yeah. and driving back. Absolutely. So that's a little sample how you can, you know, turn something that is not so great into something that you can actually enjoy. Absolutely. Very well said, Juan Carlos. Love it. MJ just said that um, it's very cool. Um, saw our shirt design. Oh, so you oh, watched it. Thank you for watching all of the Vakaya videos. Let me tell you something about Vakaya. We've, if you kind of go back historically and watch any of our older videos or even the intro video to our channel, uh, Juan Carlos and I actually met on an all-gay, all-inclusive cruise uh, back in 2015 uh, on a different charter company called RSVP, and um, this was the first inaugural cruise of, of Vakaya, and we had the most amazing time on this cruise. Vakaya has taken it up a notch to a whole other level, and let me tell you, RSVP is fantastic too, so if you're, you know, we really, really enjoy that. Hey, Matt and Eric, <laughs> welcome to our hey, Matt first and Eric. <laughs> live stream video. I, I, I sort of said to him earlier, oh, I feel like Matt and Eric all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our first live stream and we're coming to you guys from Mexico of all places. We're down here in Puerto Morales. So super excited to see you both. By the way, we got our shirts in the mail this week. So, oh yeah, yeah. they're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're very cute. The, the rainbow, he's got the full unicorn rainbow and I got the darker uh, shirt with the clear with just the rainbow on the, the unicorn horn. Very cool. Um, so MJ, I hope that answered your question as to getting you up to speed a little bit about us. Um, let's say two hours commute. Oh yeah. 
He used to have to do that. Thankfully, he doesn't have to commute like that anymore. Anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I work from home now, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> it used to be the only thing I would ever hear him complain about was that commuting. That was it. Because, you know, he's yeah. a pretty, pretty happy kind of guy. Um, but, yeah, I, could, I, don't, I don't think I could have done it. I get very frustrated in traffic. I did it for many years, yeah. but I, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I cannot do it anymore. And thankfully at that time they switched the model and now we work from home and I don't have to do that. Now those two hours that I used to spend driving, I do, you know, yoga or workout or just relax, whatever. <laughs> yeah, have happy time. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, Matt and Eric, you guys, let's see, you didn't, you didn't get a notification. You know, this is our first time doing this, so I'm not sure 100%. We had a really challenging time finding an encoder software to set up, and then we had to watch a bunch of tutorial videos to, to even get this to stream. We tried to do it last night before we left Florida. We were going to stream us packing uh, in Florida before we flew to Mexico today, but we I just couldn't get it to work. Um, but He wasn't having it. And I was not having it. I was like, <laughs> you know what? I, it's getting late. I just wanted to get packed so that we could get a few hours of sleep. So maybe it's something we didn't, maybe you could give us some advice. Is there something that we should do um, in the settings uh, before we stream live so that you would get a notification? Uh, so if you do have the bell notification, I'm assuming you would be notified if we went live. I'm not, I don't know if I need to do something on my end. So let us know, perhaps that would help. Um, and we were saying, by the way, um, MJ also earlier if you if you follow us on Instagram um, we did a quick little video tour of the villa that we're staying at so if you want to see a little bit about this I mean this place is beautiful that we're staying in for this week uh, we got very lucky we're actually um, sort of gifted this for a week so lucky 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 um, well not a hundred percent lucky because I'm a timeshare owner of these resorts and um, they're trying to get me to maybe invest <laughs> and, this one, yeah. and this one so that's why they gave it to us for a week um, and then what I did is that usually this week and next week I have two weeks down here uh, up in a, a resort called the um, Royal Sands in Cancun so I gave that as a gift to my sister and brother-in-law and they've brought their two daughters with them and their husbands um, so all six of them are up in Cancun uh, they arrived today, and we're going to be getting together with them all this week and doing some fun adventures. And uh, my two nieces and their husbands, this is their first time uh, ever in Mexico, so they're all very excited. So, very cool. So, any other questions, perhaps, from any of you watching? Feel free to ask. Um, we've just been kind of hanging out here in the villa. We had an amazing dinner tonight, and... Uh, we were talking a little bit about our mantra and happiness and and all of that good stuff. Oh, and then uh, MJ, I know you, you said you noticed our shirts. You know, I, we'll talk a little bit, and I'm going to be doing, there's going to be a video that we're going to post, we're going to record when we get back to Florida. Um, the artwork that you see on the channel, I'll, I'll kind of give you a little heads up. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Chad, or you can see him on Instagram, Chad's Art. Um, and he has a, a comic strip that he has created called Big Tiny Life, um, uh, which is great. It's sort of it's him, very him, and, yeah, very, very funny. It's him and his partner and their two dogs loosely based on their own life. It's a comic strip um, that he puts out. I think it's once a week or once every other week they put out a, um, a comic. Uh, but Chad and I used to work uh, together. Um, I used to work for Disney and Chad also worked for Disney and uh, he was an artist and so he was gracious enough to actually create that logo for Juan Carlos and I. Um, I had reached out to him uh, when we started building the YouTube channel. So uh, let's see, Matt and Eric have asked, uh, do we use Streamable? Still do not understand it fully. We were lucky enough to get the video <laughs> to even. <laughs> we we downloaded. Um, oh, when? No, no, when? OBS. 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 It's called O. B S O is in Orlando. B is in boy. Oh, and S is... <laughs> oh, oh bougie. Um, so we downloaded that. We're using a Mac, so um, I don't know if that matters. But um, right now, and I think you guys probably know Matt and Eric. Um, 
because we haven't reached the threshold of a thousand subscribers, uh, we're limited, I think, on certain things that we can do with live streaming. We can we can do it from the computer, but we can't do it from the phone. Uh, we can't turn on monetization because we, we haven't reached that threshold yet. Uh, so that means we can't do, I don't know what all those things are, tips and chat bonuses. I don't know. We'll figure all that out in the future. Um, that's not really our intent for being here anyway. It would just be a nice to have. So maybe well, that's something we'll look at, streamable. Is that um, an encoding app, I'm assuming? Let me know, I guess. Um, but anyway, so going back to Chad. Chad um, so he created that logo for us. And, um, and then I was just recently, I was talking to him. So we're going to do a, a whole entire video about that. And we created those t-shirts to bring with us on the cruise along with some social media cards. Uh, that we carry with us that uh, have the logo as well as uh, on the back side it shows our um, social, media. social media Instagram Twitter and uh, obviously Facebook I mean um, YouTube we chose not to do Facebook actually um, we yeah. or now maybe later but maybe we will um, we actually got asked today by by Facebook because of Instagram <laughs> it was like do you want to set up a profile you know something and I we kind of debated whether we we felt we needed it i'm not sure coming back to the original question the artwork yeah so back to the artwork so hopefully you guys like it give us some feedback about that i i i really think he captured jc and i and our personalities i like it mm -hmm. yeah people and actually i think we're wearing the colors pretty much kind of yeah red and this is gray kind of <laughs> kind of grayish yeah yeah exactly um so yeah, here we are in Mexico. I can't believe it. <laughs> we were just here last, we were in Mexico in May. Um, and we were at a place down near Playa del Carmen. Um, and we just recently posted a couple videos from that trip. We did a, <laughs> we did a half a day trip over to Cozumel uh, where we took a ferry. So there's that video on the channel uh, if you want to tune into that. And then. One evening we were, uh, there's a street in Playa del Carmen. Day. Oh, it was the same, same day, day we came back. back from Cozumel. Yeah, we came back from Cozumel and we were walking down uh, Fifth Avenue and we were doing some filming and we just happened to catch some amazing live entertainment of the uh, Mexican Flyers uh, doing their act and then there was a group of um, cultural uh, Mexican dancers um, doing some traditional Mayan dancing. So, um, let's see, Matt, here. sorry, I gotta lean forward. Getting old. <laughs> Streamable OBS. We stream off our mobile devices now. Mm, yes. uh, yeah, 1,000 is the minimum. It sucks that they have a threshold. Yeah. Um, I, I get it, um, the threshold, and hopefully we'll get to that point. I, I really don't because, like, you can do it in any other application. Even, you know, you don't need to have any followers. You can just do it. Yeah. And Instagram and Facebook and and everything you can do it no matter that's true you know i got gotcha. you yeah i kind of wish though you know um that the history of this channel to my youtube channel i actually started it back in 2011 never never to be a youtuber that wasn't the intent back then i posted just a few things um but the channel was always monetized in the past really? so yeah yeah up until a year and a half ago um there was actually, there was some of the videos that I had on there from in the past. I used to have a lot of aquarium stuff on there from my saltwater aquariums. And that had a lot of views and whatnot. Um, and those videos were actually making some, not a lot of money. It's just, I mean, mm -hmm. pennies. But yeah, I was making money. But I never had, I only had like a couple hundred subscribers. Um, and then when they changed it. All of that went away. I don't even know whatever happened to that monetization because you had to reach a certain threshold before they would actually pay you out. So I'm wondering if that money is still sitting like banked somewhere. I don't know. It's hard to communicate with YouTube, as you know. Uh, Matt and Eric probably got, know better than me. Uh, bad people, those who stream grotesque things. You know, yeah, I think that unfortunately uh... there's been a lot of unfortunate situations with live streaming there was yeah so but you know if i mean anybody can have not any it's not it's definitely not easy to reach a thousand viewers but right. 
you know, anybody can have a thousand and still do something crazy and, and streaming. True. That is true. So we're getting close. We're a little over 700 of you now. So, and those of you that are tuned in right now, I really, really appreciate you guys being here uh, for sure. And if you haven't done so yet, do us a huge favor and uh, do subscribe to the channel. And if you like any of our videos, share them with your friends. That really helps. Uh, give us the little thumbs up icon and hit the bell notification, of course, and then that way you'll get notified whenever we upload. Our goal going forward is always to uh, upload at least one video a week. So um, understand you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in real quick. Matt and Eric, love you guys too. And um, super, super, super um, looking forward to hopefully seeing you when you come down to South Florida. Um, or we could go to or if Atlanta. we get up to the Atlanta or north of Atlanta up by where you guys are we'll let you know for sure so peace out to both of you oh by the way uh, congratulations on your oh yeah two years anniversary happy anniversary to you guys that's peace awesome congratulations <laughs> so we'll see you anybody else have any other questions come on down with some questions we won't <laughs> stop streaming until we get a thousand Oh, oh my. oh my God, we're going to be sitting here in front of the computer for a whole week. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so what else can we tell you? If you want us away, get us some more subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to listen to us talk, they can just tune out. They can. Just, <laughs> that's easy for them. Um, but, you know, as we said, if you've just tuned in or you haven't been here, we're, we're in Mexico currently. Um, sitting in a beautiful resort so any questions about Mexico you want to know or uh, any questions about our channel or us um, feel free to ask and if it's not overly personal we'll be happy to answer it <laughs> right see sí. yes um, and we did mention um, we were asked earlier kind of updates about what's happening with us we are here for one week uh, we're gonna fly back to Florida next a week from today and then uh, we're going to be at our house in in Florida for just a few hours, and then we're going to drive up to Orlando, where we're going to stay for a few days, and we're going to attend uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween event, Halloween party at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, and then we're going to go to see Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. We're going to get our Stranger Things on, and they have a house this year there all about uh, Ghostbusters. Which oh I'm, yeah, I'm excited about I'm that. Super excited about the Ghostbusters house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then last year we went, um, they had a scare zone at Horror Nights that was based on the uh, the, the camp classic film, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And was this, that last year? Yeah, that was last year. Okay. And this year they've actually turned Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which was a scare zone, into a full-blown yeah, ah. full house this year. So, so we're excited that we're going to be seeing that. So, of course, we'll be filming... And we'll bring you some footage of that. We do have video footage last year. If you've never been to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or to Universal Halloween Horror Nights, you can check out our previous videos on the channel. Um, and we've got some videos up of, of those. Last year, we actually got pulled by um, Universal Studios marketing team. We were walking down the street and they filmed us and to be part of their ad campaigns, which was kind of fun. We got yeah, to. That's fun. We got to sort of share a little bit about why we liked Horror Nights. And um, so that was cool to be part of their advertising, marketing, something like that. So, yeah. Wow, it's getting late, isn't it? So it's 12 a.m. here. So that huh? means it's 1 a.m. Yeah, it's 12. Oh, no, it's 11. So it's 12 on the East Coast. Sorry. My computer didn't change its time, but I watched it. So it's 11 p.m. here. In Mexico, 12 a.m. East Coast. But tomorrow we get to sleep in. Oh, we're so very thankful. We had to get up super early today. We were up at 5 a.m. because uh, we had a, our flight was at like 8 a.m. to come to Mexico today, and that's early. I haven't. I don't usually get. He gets up early every day. I I love to hug the pillow, folks. I am. Oh <laughs> yes. I I don't like to see the sunrise. It's not my favorite thing. I will do it, but it's not my favorite thing. <laughs> So what about you guys? Are you guys uh, early risers, late risers, sleeping in? I like sleeping in. I sleep in on Saturdays and Sundays when I don't have anything to do. I like it, but. Yeah, I know. 
He feels unproductive if he's sleeping. It's not, not unproductive. Just <laughs> like you're missing out on something. No, no, no. no. no? <laughs> no. Speaking of sleeping, one of the cool things they have here, um, you should run and go grab it. Yeah. He's going to go grab something that they have in the room. We're going to show you something. I, I This is the first, play, first time ever that I've stayed in any resort, hotel that has this particular item. So stay tuned. We're going to show you. The anticipation I know is killing you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like coming to Mexico. It's great. Oh, here comes Juan Carlos. We have dun, dun, dun. a pillow menu. <laughs> <laughs> it's super fancy. So, yeah, we had a choice of all of these different types of pillows that we could select. <laughs> With the names, Almohada Feather Proof. Hey, look at who just tuned in. Turn it up, world. Uh, those are the couple that were here in Puerto Morales, so we watched their videos and they ah. gave us. We're going, by the way, hey, thanks for tuning in. We're, we're here. We made it. Super excited. We're staying at the, um, at the uh, Grand Residences Resort here. So tomorrow we're going to, we have a whole free day. We're going to kind of go explore Puerto Morales and we're going to check out. Um, I have it written down. I don't remember off the top of my head that there's that one restaurant that you guys were just recently at. And um, so we're going to check that out for sure. But we were just sharing with everybody that we have this really, really cool pillow menu here at the resort. Very bougie here that we got choices. Mini pillows. Little tiny mini pillows. <laughs> one Carlos <laughs> is going to sleep with a mini pillow. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Of, yeah. Fancy. Yeah. In the, which is, it's kind of fun because we didn't know that we'd, we would have this. No, we were waiting for something like this. On in, our cruise. In our, yeah, in our cruise because it was part of the the amenities that they had on right. the concierge class uh, state room. We never saw it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, it's kind of cool. So we sort of laughed when we saw this yeah. today. Yes, that's exactly the place uh, that you were saying. Um, Lola Imaya. Yvette, the owner. Okay, we're going to look for... We will definitely let them know that you sent us. So now you can say that you are officially social influencers, the two of you, because you have influenced us. Uh, and for sure, we'll take some photos and put it on our Instagram, and it'll be part of our future vlog. So, yeah, isn't the painting here is really cool? If you here, I'll turn, lean it up a little bit. They do have some. <laughs> they have some nice artwork in this villa. When we got here um, earlier today. Um, we walked around the, the whole entire villa with the um, camera filming uh, a video uh, on the phone Instagram. for Instagram. So you can tune into our Instagram channel if you want to get a quick little tour of the video. And then, of course, we'll do a little more formal video of this place as well as the resort um, on a future, future video, future vlog coming up very soon. So welcome to our very first live stream. Um, Made it. We made it. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever done a live stream. It's been interesting trying to get it set up, but kind of fun to do it from Mexico. Why not? Um, so, and uh, where are you guys now? Um, I know you were just in Mexico. Are you still in Mexico? Or I think you were traveling. I'm not sure where. I can't remember. Where, yeah, let us know where, you, where you're going. And by the way, if you haven't, uh, those of you tuned in, check out their channel. Uh, Turn It Up World. They've got some really, really beautiful um, content and a very fun couple and they're traveling around together similar to like what Juan Carlos and I, although we're not necessarily 100% travel channel, we're, we do travel a lot because <laughs> we're lucky. Yeah, for sure. Any other questions anybody has? Anybody want to know something? I don't know. What questions do you have, Juan Carlos? Did you have fleas? Do I have fleas? No, I don't have fleas. Wait. I don't. Thank goodness. <laughs> What's the average speed of the African swallow? <laughs> Tomate. <laughs> Sorry, we make each other laugh. We're just cracking each other up. <laughs> um, yeah, we were looking through this little book earlier. It's kind of nice. little Mexico book that was put out by um, Eshkeret, which if you've never been um, down here in the Yucatan Peninsula, this is an ecological park 
that we highly recommend, uh, and it's spelled X-C-A-R-E-T, and it's pronounced Eshkaret, uh, which is a Mayan pronunciation, and it's one of the most magnificent ecological parks I've ever been to. Um, there's rivers that you can float in, and cenotes, and one of the most amazing aviaries, and a huge, huge theatrical presentation that they do at night that takes you through the entire history of Mexico with literally hundreds of performers. It's amazing. Um, let's say definitely will. So we're wrapping up uh, Disney's Mickey's Not So Scary Star Wars. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So you guys are in Orlando. It's like we're following you because hmm. we get back from Mexico on Saturday and then we're driving right up to Orlando and we are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party next week as well as Halloween Horror Nights. So uh, yeah, it's like I, our, our little paths keep you think we're like stalking you or something, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've did, we've done Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party for the last what four years? Uh, yes, yeah, because we, yeah, two thousand and fifteen was the first time. Yeah, that, that, was, that I went. That was the first time you came with me. Yeah. Um, so and also Halloween Horror Nights is also a huge favorite. I love Mickey's Not So Scary. I love the parade. The Boo to You Parade Ooh, is yes. amazing. I I I. Since since you know, like a few weeks before the event starts, and a few weeks later, all that time, I always have that song in my head. Boo to you, you and you and you and you. Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, we're being cheesy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, it was hot as hell. Yeah, yeah, that's the challenge of going to Orlando this time of the year. It's oh my god, it's so oppressive. Yeah. It was heat. like, this does not feel like trick or treating. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah, last but year we were there. Uh, we walked into the park. We got our little bags, and we were like, I was dripping, dripping with sweat before we even. Uh, anyway, but it's, fun. I mean, but it's still worth it. it. It's a lot of fun, and um, yeah, the new. I'm excited for the new fireworks show too, and the Jack Jack Skellington um, hosted, and the new projection show on the castle looks absolutely amazing. Um, so that's kind of cool. Oh, by the way, my friend Gene, if you're watching this, shout out to him. He's actually one of the creators at Disney that helps create those projection shows, uh, who's a friend of mine. So we're excited to, to see that. Um, and then Halloween Horror Nights, as we said, obviously Stranger Things, we're big fans of that show. And But this year we're real excited about Ghostbusters. <laughs> I like that show. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I like the cartoon better than the movies, but... So, big question. How much candy did the two of you get in Mickey's Not So Scary? Did you hit all of the candy spots? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> and did you go... Did, last year, they didn't have it. All the previous years, they had... Um, what does it say? Uh, there's a new Dark Arts of Harry Potter. Very cool. Oh, wow. Oh, Death Eaters walking around in oh. Harry Potter. Oh, so they've incorporated Harry Potter into Horror Nights this that's year. That's cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool because it's always been just sort of nothing going mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yay, thank you for letting us know that. Because we might not have like snuck into there not knowing. So, good info to have. And question for everyone. Uh, which, which part of... Uh, Universal is your favorite. Mine is Krusty Lion. You love Krusty Lion. He's a big, huge Simpsons fan. Yeah, for sure. And do you like Islands of Adventure better than Universal Studios, too? Which park? Now they're building, Universal's building another, a fourth huge theme park that they just announced, which is amazing. And rumors are that Disney might be doing, working on something else in the future. Crazy. All kinds of stuff happening there. Um, you didn't get as much candy as we would have liked. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? <laughs> um, yeah, we had fun doing the trick or treating thing last year. That was the most we had, most candy we we had, because typically we don't really eat a lot of that. So. Yeah, but we had fun going through all of those last last year. For some reason, I don't know why we we did it as much as we did. But my favorite candy that they have at, at Mickey's Not So Scary for years was. In Fantasyland at Pinocchio's Village, they used to give out um, Werther's. They're like the little caramel creams, remember? 
but two years ago I brought I was like we have to have these because you had never had one they were like the apple caramel flavored uh, hard candies but like the sucking candy you don't remember that anyway those are my favorite but I know last year they didn't have it uh, Islands of Adventure is your favorite yeah we definitely like Islands of Adventure because of all the rides but last time we went to Islands of Adventure we that's when we took your Me, Papa. your your dad and um, Marcella and Jose friends from Costa Rica and we went on all of those water rides I have never ever ever been so wet in my life <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then we, we did at the we, very beginning of the day yeah we went in the morning we spent the entire day at Islands of Adventure and then we were soaking wet and then we stayed That they all left and he and I stayed for Halloween Horror Nights and we did not have a change of clothes and it, was and it started rain. raining pouring 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 rain <laughs> and it got cold it was like a rare moment where it was cold in Orlando and we were just like shivering and our feet were like squishing in our shoes <laughs> But again, sticking with our mantra, happiness and lifestyle, we're like, oh, well, we're just going to make the best of it. We did. We had a good time. It was fun. <laughs> uh, let's say you should bring big pillowcases. Yeah, that would be fun, right? Go for the gold. I used to do that when I was a kid. When They don't trick or treat in Costa Rica. Ah, big pillowcase. Okay. Yeah, but we used to – I grew up in upstate New York and um, we would sometimes, like when I was like in my preteen years – sort of in that 11 to 13 age bracket where you didn't have to go trick-or-treating uh, with your parents. Okay. My cousins and I, oh, Juan Carlos is running to the restroom. Well, I tell you the story. My cousins and I, um, we would actually go do all of the neighborhood and then go home and dump out our candy, change our costumes, and go back and do it all over again. You think we were greedy? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It was good times. But yeah, so Disney is amazing. Universal is amazing. Did you um, did you guys get a chance to um, go to any of the other parks? I, well, yeah, you mentioned Star Wars, so you did get a chance to go to Galaxy's Edge. I'm curious um, to know from your perspective. I've heard that the crowds at the parks are pretty lenient, right, or pretty low right now. Did you experience that, um, or not long wait times to be able to go on the uh, Millennium Falcon ride? Um, yeah, let me know. I don't. I, I'm thinking that it might not be too busy next week, and we might be able to go there as well, perhaps. And we still haven't done. Um, what is the? I forgot the name of the ride in Pandora. The um, I forgot the name of it right now off the top of my head. But anyway, there's a ride over in um, the Avatar Pandora area of Animal Kingdom that we haven't been on yet because of the wait times. Had always been like over two hours. And I'm not gonna wait that long. <laughs> no, no interest. What's your favorite ride, by the way, in Magic Kingdom? And I will tell you mine. Yes. What is your favorite ride at the Magic Kingdom? That's for everybody watching. If you've been to Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom only. What is your favorite ride? We have the same favorite, right? I think we do. I know mine. <laughs> no? No? Oh, we have a different favorite. I thought we had the same. Anyone? Anyone? Favorites? We're waiting before we can share ours. I'm excited about the new uh, Tron roller coaster that they're building, though. That should be fun. Uh, they got the park hopper and the wait time. Yeah, 45 minutes. That's... That's, that's really decent. That's, that's pretty decent. That's like an average wait time mm -hmm. for like, you know, Space Mountain on a pretty mm -hmm. busy day. Not a super busy day, but a busy day. So yeah, forty five minutes I think is amazing. Because a rumor has it that that Hagrid's coaster over at Universal still has like a two hundred minute wait time, all the time apparently. Wow. So it makes me wonder whether or not the crowds are bigger at Universal or maybe the, um, the capacity or the ability to run that ride is not as efficient as perhaps the Millennium Falcon is. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, Seven Dwarves Mine Train and Splash Mountain. So, yeah, your favorite is Seven Dwarves Mine Train. My yeah. favorite is the Mine Train. That I is love it. 
I love it. <laughs> <laughs> he gets really, really sad if we can't ride the mine train, if we go and we can't get um, a fast pass. Or... <laughs> and, and when we are going through the, like, through the mine and they are singing the song, I sing the song along at the top of my lungs. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, yes. He's yeah. all high. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and if you look back, actually, one of our videos last year, we, we were at Halloween. Um, I mean, Mickey's Not So Scary. Um, the first thing we did is ride Seven Dwarves Mine Train, and we actually got stuck on it, and we got evacuated from it, and we filmed it. So it's on our YouTube channel, which is kind of fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, Splash Mountain is a favorite of mine, but my absolute favorite attraction in the Magic Kingdom, hands down, is the Haunted Mansion. It's been my favorite since I was a kid. Um, I just I love that attraction. I can ride it, and I've rode it. I don't even know. I wouldn't even venture to guess how many times in my life, but I absolutely love it. Um, Don loves Space Mountain. Who yes. doesn't love Space Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a fun ride. Absolutely. I wish that Space Mountain at, at the Magic Kingdom in Florida would do like they did in California. And uh, the uh, ride vehicles in California have added like three-dimensional sound speakers in the ride vehicles, which really sort of enhances it. It's really cool. Um, I wish they would do that in Florida. Maybe in the future they will. Uh, wait till you see our Universal video next week. Can't wait to see that, by the way, you guys. We will for sure tune in. Um, oh, <laughs> no. So you guys are not riding. They're, they said that they will puke if they ride <laughs> Space Mountain. Oops. <laughs> uh Yay, they love the Haunted Mansion too. Perfect. So so do we. And then in Hollywood Studios, my favorite is the tower. Yeah. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror is yeah. awesome. I and love that ride. In, uh, Epcot. in Epcot is uh, Soarin'. Soarin', yeah. Super. I like Soarin' and I also like um, 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 Test Track, which is a lot of fun. And, and then Animal Kingdom... I don't know if I have a favorite ride. I mean, I like Everest. That's great. Um, but my favorite show still running at Disney right now is Festival of the Lion King over at the Animal Kingdom. Oh, yeah, I love it. That show is amazing. Um, they do an amazing job with that and always have. And I like the, um, como se llama, um, Little Mermaid. <laughs> yes, the Little Mermaid's been there for... Gosh, forever at the it's one of the original attraction shows from when mm -hmm. it was called Disney MGM Studios back in the day before it became Disney Hollywood Studios. So um, yeah, we definitely need to do Pandora World of Avatar. That's it, World of Avatar. I couldn't remember the name of it. You were in the bathroom. Yeah, that's been there for what like two couple years, of years now. We still we haven't, haven't. Yeah. Every haven't. time we've been, there's been well, we can never get a fast pass. Unfortunately for us is, well, not for, it's fortunate and unfortunate because we live in Fort Lauderdale and uh, we do go up to Orlando frequently, um, annual pass holder at Disney. Um, so a lot of times for us going there is last minute. We're not like planning months in advance. And a lot of those big super attractions, unless you know weeks in advance, you can't get a fast pass. It's almost impossible. Um, I've heard there's tips and tricks and you can keep trying to refresh while you're in the park or whatever, but um, we always figure we'll get there. We'll get to do it sometime because we do luckily get a chance to go there frequently um, mm -hmm. throughout the year. So as we are this coming week. So, so anyway, wow, we have been streaming for an entire hour. Mm. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought like, at the beginning, it was like, well, what are we going to do? Just sit here and wait for people to say something? Or... But it's actually, you know, pretty fluid. Yeah, I kind of like this. Yeah, I think we'll do this uh, more often. What do you guys think who are out there watching? Do you think you like this live streaming thing? I don't know. Uh, what they say? If you want to get on, go in the evening. If you go before the park closes... You have a good shot. Of, oh, that's a good good advice. So go like just before the park closes. I know I've heard too, if you get there really early or if you're staying on Disney property, you can go for early magic morning hours mm -hmm. if you're staying at one of the Disney hotels, which we're not this time. But um, 
That's good advice. Thank you for that. Very good advice. But yeah, we have been uh, going at it, though, since 5 a.m. this morning. <laughs> and it's getting kind of late here. It's almost, well, it's 1130 here in Mexico, over there on the East Coast, about almost 1230. Um, so we're going to get ready to wrap things up here. But before we go, if you've got any last minute questions, we're going to give a couple more minutes before we end this live stream. Uh, let us know. And if you're watching our live stream or if it's post live stream and you're watching this video, uh, please do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel and give us a big thumbs up and hit the like button, all that good stuff. And, and think about questions that you might have for our next, our next live stream. Yeah, anything about, I don't know, Costa Rica, Florida, Disney, Mexico. Yeah, for sure. Us. <laughs> yes. Our mantra, happiness is a lifestyle. We like talking about that. Um, yeah, we're going to have a blast here in Puerto Morales. We're super excited to be here, and it, it seems like it's a good time of the year to be here, too. It looks very quiet. There's not, it's not overly crowded down here, and uh, so we're going we're gonna to get some good food. We had an amazing dinner tonight. I don't know if you – let me mention this, by the way. If you guys had a chance to eat this while you were here, um, it was just Mexico's Independence Day, and so every year uh, they have a dish in Mexico called Chili's in Nugara, um, Chiles en Nogada. Yes. Let him say it because he speaks fluent. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> he is Latino. <laughs> but it's an amazing, amazing dish. It's a poblano chili um, that they grill and then, you know, what do you say, shave it to take off the skin of the chili? So it's not quite as hot, spicy. Oh, yeah. Um, and then it's stuffed with fruits and meat. And then there's this amazing cream sauce uh, that they serve it with. And um, the color, they use pomegranate seeds so that the color of it, with it being a green chile, and then the white sauce and the red pomegranate seeds is the color of the Mexican flag. And it's a traditional dish that you can pretty much only get in Mexico in September. So we were super excited that they were serving it here at our resort tonight. So we had a chance to eat that. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys had an opportunity to have that while you were here. Uh, but if you ever do come to Mexico and you're here in September or early October, most of the restaurants are probably still serving it. It's a, it's a seasonal thing. So for sure, try it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah? Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, we appreciate you tuning in super, super much. Yes. Is that a word? Our, Super much? <laughs> no, very first uh, live, live stream video. <laughs> yes. Yep. You all were part of the very first history making live stream <laughs> video for Geo and JC. And as we always say, everyone, happiness, happiness is, is a life. lifestyle. Thanks a lot for watching, all of you. We appreciate it. Buenas noches from Mexico. Buenas noches. And until next time, ciao, ciao. Bye. Now we got to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Where do we do it? <laughs>